what's actually happening here is something very common that we call physiological leaf curl or leaf roll. It's not getting enough water or maybe it's getting too much water and the roots can't grow. So when you see your leaves curl, it usually just means something with the weather has changed and the plant is just undergoing some stress. Your plant will be fine. Just give it a little time and make sure you're taking good care of it. This tomato plant is also showing a very common fruit disorder called blossom end rot caused by improper watering. So if you keep your soil evenly moist around your tomato plant, then your problems with blossom end rot should go away. This is what we call 2,4-D or phenoxy injury. It's an herbicide injury. So if you or your neighbor was spraying a broadleaf weed killer on your lawn, often that uh, herbicide or weed killer will get into the air and blow onto your tomato plants. The real characteristic injury uh, for the herbicide injury is the leaves just being kind of curled in on themselves and uh, developing almost a webbed look. This is a fungal disease. It's called Septoria leaf spot and it's characterized by tiny brown spots all over the leaves. Usually the leaves will start turning yellow and it usually starts from the bottom of the plant and works its way towards the top. It's usually caused by high te warm temperatures and high humidity which we have lots of in Kansas in the average summer. Another common tomato problem that you might see in Kansas is spider mites, leaving a characteristic stippling look on the leaves. Fruit worms are also known as corn earworms. If you see uh, worms in your sweet corn, it's the same caterpillar that's attacking your tomato plants. And they'll just bore into the fruit, leaving a little bit of a hole in the, in the tomato. These are several of the common tomato problems you might see in Kansas, but there's a number of others. So if you want more information on controlling these problems, or if you think you might have another problem, please contact your local Extension office for more information.